Assalamu alaikum warahmatullah. So I've got a bucket full of bones. Instead of throwing these in the bin, I'm going to put them to some use and I'll show you how I'm going to use these in the garden to benefit our plants. So the kids wanted to roast some marshmallows, so my wife lit them a little fire and roasted them some marshmallows while I was pottering about in the garden. But now that the kids have gone in to go and get, get washed up and get ready for bed, we've got this fire that's about to go out and it's left some nice hot um, embers. And I've been collecting these bones for a while to make some bone meal with. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my bones that I've been saving for a long time and I'm going to chuck them into the fire and I'm going to let that let them cook down or burn down and all we have to do is leave them on top of the embers like that and they'll cook down I'm going to chuck on some more um, bits of wood and get this fire going again so there's bones <laughs> dampen down the flames so I've got it light, lit up again and I'm going to chuck on a few bits more wood and I'm going to let that let those bones completely burn down and then I'm going to come back tomorrow and we'll harvest that bone ash so I left the fire going overnight and now it's burnt down and I've got a mixture of wood ash and I've got a mixture of these bones that have become really really brittle look at this so that was one of the big thigh bones that I had and now it's become really brittle so I can just break it down so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a hammer I would have used my sledgehammer for this but I've broken the handle so I'm just going to smash it all up grind it all up so the health and safety director has been out and told me to wear a mask <laughs> So I'm just going to continue smashing all this up and I'll show you what I'm left over with. So now what I've got is a bucket full of really brittle smashed up bones. Some of them, are, some of the chunks have stayed quite big as well as wood ash and bits of charcoal. And this is going to make a great addition, a great way of... Uh, a really good free way of remineralizing the soil and I'll show you how I use it when I plant up my gourds in my buckets and I plant up my tomatoes it'll come in really handy for that so wood ash has been used as a, as a source of potash for centuries by farmers all over the world um, and bone meal the stuff that we've just made so bone ash and bone meal not all of those bones have turned to ash they've got to that point where they've just heated up so much and they've become brittle uh, some of it's turned to ash some of it hasn't so we've got two different things we've got bone ash and we've got wood ash in that mix so wood ash is predominantly calcium carbonate between 25 and 45 percent and it's also got a lot of calcium in there it's got about one to ten percent of phosphate in there and it's also got uh, a lot of trace elements like iron manganese magnesium uh, copper all of these are trace elements that the plants are going to use and it's going to really be beneficial and it's going to give your plants a boost but as well as that we've got bone ash and bone ash is made up of predominantly calcium oxide about 45 percent then about 17 percent of phosphorus pentoxide now all of these things will be really beneficial for fruiting plants for root growing plants that's why a lot of farmers use this kind of wood ash to grow uh, potatoes with. Now I remember um, I visited Bangladesh as a child once and it was harvest season. What they'd do is they'd take a load of straw and hay from, from the paddy fields that they'd harvested rice from and during the dry season they'd lay it out in big long rows in the, in the fields and they'd burn it and they'd cook this special kind of bread called root and they'd cook that bread and it'd be so tasty. But then what they'd do in those exact same spots would be plant potatoes so that's how they would use this uh, wood ash and this ash to grow uh, root crops so it's an adaptation of that so we can take uh, wood ash we can take this bone ash we can use this as a fertilizer for our plants and it's really beneficial for us especially as for, for someone like me um, 
where we can't buy bone meal and blood meal from um, the, the local fertilizer shop because blood fish and bone and bone meal are made up of freeze dried blood and freeze dried bones from um, predominantly pigs for Muslims it's not permissible for us to use so we've got to be careful of that not everyone might have a restriction on that but I do so that's why I make my own uh, bone meal I made my own potash and I use this to fertilize my plants so that's a quick little guide on how to make your own little potash and your own fertilizer in the garden so in some of my other videos like my uh, gourds that I'm planting in containers and my tomatoes and my chilies that I'm planting in containers have a look at those as to how I use this so I'll leave it there for this one. Make sure you subscribe for regular updates and hit that like for me and share this video out. Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.